iOS 10, 11, 12, and 13. At three year old iPhone 7 Plus, still getting support from Apple with latest security patches and software updates. It's almost four major updates being pushed to iPhone 7 Plus. Show me one Android manufacturer who provides this much of support for their smartphones. This is an iPhone 7 Plus running iOS 13. In this video, I will be talking about how iOS 13 has changed the iPhone 7 Plus in terms of features and performance. Hey guys, my name is Case Kirail. Let's get started. iOS 13 is the biggest major update ever from Apple, which brings a tons of changes and improvements to the boat. One of the biggest assets of iOS 13 is the 2X app launching. Apple made iOS 13 more responsive and reliable in terms of faster app launching, thanks to the reduced size of applications, which led the basic foundation for faster app launching. This would be more beneficial for an older iPhones like iPhone 6S, iPhone SE, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and more. All of your applications and games may open much faster, you don't even feel any lag or stutter while opening these programs. The 2x performance on iOS 13 has been taken to the next level. This way, the keyboard pops up much faster than ever before from anywhere, and it goes same with the share sheet. The all new share sheet in iOS 13 is simply magnificent. It has a lot of options packed in, which can be triggered by a simple click. You can even edit the actions on the share sheet, which is a good thing to have in iOS 13. I personally feel the share sheet is the only one where older iPhones tend to struggle a little bit but thanks to the iOS 13 you no longer experience any kind of a stutter or lag. We know that iPhone 7 Plus is having a 3D touch which provides a user interface feedback with the help of built-in Taptic Engine. This feedback from Taptic Engine in iOS 13 is simply astounding. You now it feels much more natural and precise than ever before, especially when you are force touching on the screen and it goes same with the home button. I really love the improvement to the Taptic Engine which is more proactive. Now the dark mode is the core UI feature of iOS 13 which looks fantastic on an iPhone 7 Plus. You can enable the dark mode from the control center by 3D touching on the brightness slider and from here you can toggle this option to enable it. This is a system wide dark mode which works with any supported applications. The dark mode on iPhone 7 Plus is simply superb thanks to the 1080p retina display and it's much better than iPhone XR screen in terms of color reproduction and resolution. Maybe that would be the reason the dark mode looks more natural. The translucent effect on iPhone 7 Plus is simply super awesome, especially when the content flows beneath the views are unprecedented. Overall, I would say dark mode on iPhone 7 Plus is super impressive and you will definitely addict to it without any doubt. In iOS 13, we know that unlocking an iPhone with Face ID is much faster than previous versions, and it goes same with the iPhones having Touch ID. Now, the iPhone 7 Plus unlocks much faster than before. I mean, just look at the speed of unlocking. It's instant and spontaneously aggressive, and it can even compete with the current gen Android phones without any doubt. I seriously love the way of Apple, what they're doing with their software. These kind of improvements and enhancements are always welcome to the older iPhones. When it comes to playing heavy games, you may notice no lag or frame drops, especially while playing PUBG at high frame settings. The entire gameplay was super smooth and more responsive than ever before. But keep in mind, if the battery percentage is less than 30%, and you may notice a little bit of lag and serious frame drops, which is sort of bummer. This only happens with the iPhones having less than 90% of battery capacity. Talking about the battery backup, I usually get 4 plus hours screen on time with moderate usage and I don't notice a much improvement in terms of battery backup when it gets compared to iOS 12. Lastly, I ran a Geekbench test, a benchmarking application of which finds out the potential strength of both hardware and software. So the bottom line of this video, definitely iOS 13 on iPhone 7 Plus is much smoother and better and you can install iOS 13 on your iPhone and get the latest and greatest features. Hats off to Apple, you can still use iPhone 7 Plus for one more year and you can even get iOS 14 in future without any doubt. That's it guys, this has been KSK Royal so far. I hope you like this video. If you do, then hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe for more iOS content. Thanks for watching this video. 
Bye bye now.